After the installation of your Venus 1500 software, you'll notice on your computer's desktop a floating gray bar. And this is what we refer to as the Venus 1500 shell. The shell houses all of the applications that you will be using in order to perform different functions at the display. You'll notice that I can click and drag this shell to a different position onto my screen. Also, there are a few different features hidden in the shell that you can see when you right-click on the Venus 1500 logo off to the left. The first one is the Always on Top option, which is useful if you have another application running in the background, but you always want to have access to the Venus 1500 shell. You can put a check next to the option, and in that way you'll always be able to access the Venus 1500 software very easily. To uncheck it, simply click on it again. The next option down is the Hide option, which if checked, it hides the shell application altogether. In order to bring it back again, go down into the system tray and double click on the icon for Venus 1500. Back to the logo again, I'll right click on it to see the About Venus 1500 option. This is an important area because it houses all of the information you need in order to contact Dactronics customer service. The next tab opens the versions window, which shows you the specific versions of each application within the Venus 1500 software. The next tab over shows the system information, which gives information about the computer that you're running the software on. You can get more detailed information by clicking on the system info button below. Over to the right of the Venus 1500 logo, there are four separate applications that we will be using during this training session to perform different actions at the display. The first icon with a lightning bolt opens the display manager. I'm going to click on it and give you a quick view of this application. The display manager is what we use to send messages and schedules to and from the display, and you can also perform here basic diagnostics of the display. The next icon in the shell with a paintbrush opens the message studio which is a content creation program that you use in order to make all of the messages that you send to your display. The third icon opens the Schedule Studio, which allows you to schedule a start and stop time and date for single or multiple messages you wish to send to the display. Finally, the last icon with a hammer opens the Administrator, which you would use to set up the software to communicate with your display.